So I'm making my way through the collected works of St. John of the Cross, a very rich set of writings, I have to say. And uh, I stumbled upon this little uh, tidbit today. He says, oh, if spiritual persons knew how much spiritual good and abundance they lose by not attempting to raise their appetites above childish things, and if they knew to what extent, by not desiring the taste of these trifles, they would discover in this simple spiritual food the savor of all things. I was thinking about that this week, how interesting it is in spiritual life that in, at different levels of progress as you go through, you're actually at each time in a bowl almost, like each, each stage of development seems to have its own boundaries, its, its own area of development, and you can't see outside of that. You know, when, when, when I was, you know, in my, my more worldly days, let's say, for a lack of a better way of saying that, uh, you know, that seems to me like that was all there was. Uh, there, there was nothing inside for me. There was no warmth of heart in there in those days. And then you grow in spiritual life and uh, you do your practices and, you know, you do, you renounce the things that you're able to renounce and you go forward and you move into a new space where you do find some inner joy. But even in that inner joy, it's within a bowl, it's within its own context. And again, you can't even imagine the higher things that are there. They don't even occur to you. You can't, you, you can't see how that would be. And so it's nice that St. John is encouraging us to, to think about what we might not understand or know, to be open to a higher experience, maybe try Take a chance and renounce some of the simpler pleasures in your life in order to turn your eyes to higher things. Do an experiment. See what you're not seeing. Go and find what perhaps you're not suspecting and see in spiritual life. If you do the work, if you do the practice, the bliss indeed will come in its time.